Hi, let's see, how to install, and configure, a Posh 2 web server in Linux Mint. Let's begin by updating the local package index to reflect the latest upstream changes. Local package index was updated successfully. First step is a posh installation, so for that just execute this command and wait until it is completed. So the Apache server was successfully installed. Second step is the firewall configuration, to allow the Apache server to exchange information over the internet. First command will display a list of the application profiles. As indicated by the output, there are three profiles available for Apache. First one is just Apache and opens only port 80 then, Apache full, this profile opens both port 80 and port 443 and a posh secure that opens only port 443. For the moment we will open only port 80. For the SSL port 443 I will make a dedicated video. In the end check the firewall status, and you have to see that their a posh was added. Step 3, now is the time to check if the web server is working. Using, his own default settings we should see displayed in a browser the default Apache web page. To see the Apache server status, apply this command. To check the functionality you have to find the server IP address, for that please issue the command hostname i Then copy the obtained IP address. On another computer, in the same network, open a browser and paste in the address bar the IP address copied before and hit enter. As you can see the default Apache web page was displayed. Also, you can try to see if it is working over the internet. For that first you have to have a port forward set on your router, most the cases, and second a dynamic DNS already set for your Linux PC. For more details of how that can be done please watch my videos dedicated for this topic. The video links can be found in the description. In my case, the address obtained from dynamic DNS is linuxclass.ddns.net. Step 4. For this step we will no do any action. There in the text file, in the left, are described all the commands to managing the process of a posh. Step 5. Setting up virtual hosts. First create the directory for your domain as follows. Next, assign ownership of the directory with the dollar user environment variable. The directory for your domain should be owned by your user. To ensure that your permissions are correct and allow the owner to read, write, and execute the files while granting only read and execute permissions to groups and others, you can input the following command. Next, create a sample index.html page using Nano or your favorite editor. Inside, add the following sample HTML and then save and close the file when you are finished.
In order for a posh to serve this content, it's necessary to create a virtual host file with the correct directives. Instead of modifying the default configuration file, let's make a new one. Paste in the following configuration block, which is similar to the default, but updated for your new directory and domain name. Save and close the file when you are finished. Let's enable the file with the A2 Insight tool. As you can see I forgot to change the name of the file. So I will correct it and redo the command. Then disable the default site defined. Next, let's test for configuration errors. You should receive, syntax OK. Restart a posh to implement your changes. Check if your new page was updated successfully. And voila everything it is working fine. Please leave a comments if something is missing or wrong. If this method worked for you, please give a like and subscribe to my channel for next useful videos of how to do it in Linux Mint. Thank you for watching.